say it ain't so we are finally here on year 20 20 years 20 years it is bro and before we start you know i gotta say a prayer lord thank you for providing food shelter military thing that we need to survive thank you for letting this video record properly thank you for letting the audio record properly and thank you for making the video report properly so we can have a successful finale of the 20 year mind league thank you just as let it record just as well as year 19 did thank you jesus thank you joe god for the jesus christ the lord amen all right let's go and let's please also let there be no crashes oh my gosh year 20 we got some retirements we got you know what i'm actually gonna do a bonus video and we're gonna see um where we'll see everybody retire we're gonna give these guys one more year we're gonna give joey another year we're gonna give rob another year we're gonna give tyreek another year we're gonna, oh alec is done Alec is retired. He retired a 10-time All-Star, first team All-NBA 2019, three-time All-NBA second team, third team, one-time All-Rookie first team. Alec was a 10-time All-Star, so you know he did a little something, something in his career. He did his career high is 49 points, almost at 50. Made 11 three-pointers in, three in the game after attempting 15. You know, so you know he had 10 rebounds in one game. Alec was doing work: 16 assists, one six steals, one two steals. I look out here hooping, bruh. He ain't won a championship, though, but he made 10 All-Star games. And he was the second pick in the draft. Averaged 9 points in his last uh, year. He averaged 16 points in his career. Yep, he's always had, he always hovered around that 16, 17 points per game. Every time he had that 17 points, he'd make an All-Star game. So, yeah. All right. Okay. That's the year. That's the career of Alec. He was a Dallas Maverick lifer played in Dallas his whole career and maybe that's why and maybe that's why he had to uh he couldn't win a championship <laughs> moving on to Theodore who played for the Pacers most of his career then had a cup of team Houston where he played really well I think he made the all-star game twice that year and then he ended his career in Denver where he was still productive averaging 13 points per game in his last season after averaging nearly 17 all the time he ended his career averaging 16 points per game. Similar to Alex. Similar number to Alex. Even though he was the 18th pick. Didn't even go lottery. To the Pacers. So let's check out his career high. His career high was 40 points. Okay. He made 9 three-pointers in the game once. Every 10 at 17. That's crazy. 9 rebounds is high. It was a short one, huh? <laughs> 17 assists. 6 steals. 4 blocks. Wow, 4 blocks. That's impressive. That's impressive. 40 was career high. All right. He's a five-time All-Star, and he made All-NBA 13 one time in 2036. That's all he did. But, yo, Theodore snuck in five All-Star games in 20 years. I ain't even tripping. I ain't think Theodore would make any All-Star games. So, the fact that he snuck in the five of them, you got to give him his props. Five badges. What's the name? He had nine. We're going to bring Devontae in next season. Jacob Games free agent but i thought you was already retired we're gonna bring you in these are we're gonna go through all these guys in the bonus episode in the bonus episode what about oh my god nope uncle lance is retired 15 years pro he had no badges but he a two-time nba champion that's all that matters 2007 2027 champion 2033 champion i think they was both of the celtics Speaking of 33 that's his career high in points he made six three-pointers once after attempting 12 that's almost 21 rebounds. He was actually the eighth pick in the draft. Wow. 14 defensive free rounds in the game. Wow. 21 rebounds. That's crazy. In one game. Eight assists, five steals, five blocks, 41 minutes. Okay, not too shabby. Not too shabby from Uncle Lance. He averaged 3.7 points in his last career. In his last game, his last year of his career. He is a Boston Celtics lifer. He's never played for another team. He's been a Boston Celtic his whole career. Average 9.4, 8.3, 1.7. Yeah, that's it for Uncle Lance. J uh, Robert's retired with his one badge having himself. Charge card. He retired an NBA champion. He was the rookie of the year. First team all rookie. His career did not go as planned. After winning rookie of the year, it was a struggle. But in the end, he did win an NBA championship. And that's what we're all fighting for. 2036. So it all worked out. 35 points per 35 points is career high. That was probably in his rookie season. He made nine three-pointers once. He had 14 rebounds once. He was a fifth pick in the draft. He had 15 assists once, five steals, five six blocks once. He played 45 minutes once. 
those were probably all his rookie seasons. <laughs> he fitted, He played for a couple of teams. It took him a while to find a home. He was drafted to Cleveland, and he went to L.A. for a year. He took a year off because he couldn't he couldn't agree on a contract, and he went to Ed and signed with L.A. Then he went back to Cleveland. Then he went to Detroit. Got traded to Memphis that same season. Then got traded to Portland the next season. And got traded to the, back to the Lakers the next season. Stayed a Laker. Then this is where his career finally took a change for the better. When he signed with the Knicks, he finally found a home in New York. He was productive. Had a nice little career there. And then he was signed with Philadelphia, where he would win an NBA championship. What a career for Robert. We averaged almost ten points. It was nine point four four. Rebounds and four assists, and he's born on April 4th, so you know it's all about four. Well, he averaged five assists if you round it up. So, yeah, that's Robert. That is Robert Doyle. Y'all remember Doyle? But Doyle, Doyle, Doyle calling it a career, too. <laughs> Doyle, Doyle was on the championship team, right? Yeah, it is. Doyle was on that championship team. All right, looks like that's it. That is it. Yep, that's it. All right, let's keep going. Staff retirement. Whole bunch of people. <laughs> Hall of Fame inductees. Alec is a Hall of Famer, along with Devin Booker. We have our first Hall of Famer, and his name is Alec Webley. The man played 1,400 games, averaging 16 points. Oh boy, Alec is a Hall of Famer, class 38. Theodore got his jersey retired by the Indiana Pacers. We have our first jersey retirement. Number six will never be worn again. Number 10 will never be worn again by the Dallas Mavericks. Alec got his number retired. Bo Jeffries got his number retired by the Denver Nuggets. Yo, remember Bo Jeffries was on my team. He ended up being a Denver Nuggets legend. Wow. And that's it. Colin Sexton. Theodore. Thomas Williams. Gary Nance. Alec. Anthony, Antonio Garner, Bo Jeffries, and Danny Christians. Wow. Theodore's number is retired. That is crazy. Wow. 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 <laughs> Let's check out this draft lottery. I don't even know. I don't even remember how I did. Not, we made, pretty sure we made the playoffs at a high rate. So we got the 27th pick. I have no clue who's there to get. You always know I look at the first pick for no reason. <laughs> So let's go ahead and look at the first pick for over Jonathan Simpson. Okay. It's okay. Let's get it popping. He's going to Philadelphia. All right. I'll take it too long. Um, what my, what my team looking like? Who can I trade? Quite a few people. We can trade Pete Norris. Who can we trade Pete Norris for? We can get Jawan Ferguson back, but I'm not trading Rob. So never mind. I am not doing that. This is just a trade to trade at this point because <laughs> there's really nothing. Because everybody is fake at this point. There's no real player at this point. Alright, so let's not even just do it. Let's just make this year go by fast. We're no fooling around. I don't know what my team needs though. Skeleton team needs. It doesn't even tell you, bruh. <laughs> let's go to trades. Trade finder so I can know what's currently on my team. So I should probably get a backup point guard, if anything. Let's go ahead and get a point guard. Let's go ahead and get a point guard. Best available point guard is this guy right here. Oof. Ook Ookland. So let's go ahead and get Ook Ookland from Sweden. He's a small dude. Oh, it's a 22nd pick? Oh, that's kind of high for Ook Ookland. There isn't a lot of game tape available on Oof Ooklin from what I've seen. He looks like a team player that can move the ball around the court and isn't afraid to take the shot when needed. I think the Hornets fan can rest easy on this one. Alright. Good. We got the little Swedish dude. So we can simulate to our next pick. I didn't know I had a higher pick though. Can we trade this pick? <laughs> I don't really want this pick. I don't want this pick. You can trade you can take this one too. Give me another pick for another year. <laughs> Give me a pick from another year. Okay, I'll take these future picks. Sure. Yeah, Atlanta, take my pick. Who y'all who draft in Atlanta? Who y'all gonna draft? Corey Houston. Alright. Go ahead and enjoy Corey Houston as we end this draft. As we got our one pick. Alright, let's sign Mr. Ook. 
Yeah, 74 overall. That ain't bad at all. Sandefu. Team options. Byron Higgins. You are definitely coming back. Pedro Thorman. You can come back as well. All right. I'm liking them 80s of them soon. That's for sure. Qualifying offer on Jamie Richmond. Fine. If y'all want to bring Jamie back, let's bring Jamie back. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Do we even have any roster spots? It seems like we don't. Bird rights. Of course, I'm resigning you. You getting the full 100. You want anything you want, bro. We can go even higher. <laughs> Anything you want, bro, you get there. You the, you the star of the team. Clifton, Clifton, you cool too, but you ain't Clayton. So we're going to give you 58 million plus one. And that's it. So we got to make sure these two guys sign. Hold up. Is that who I think it is? Is that Nemo Bobby? Nemo Bobby still want too much money. <laughs> Nemo Bobby still want too much money. Alright, look like they signed on. Yeah, they signed on. Of course they did. Okay, we have 13, 14 people. Okay. So we can sign two more people. We got enough space for two more people. What we need? What we don't need is a center. That's for sure. <laughs> we do need is a power forward. Can we turn one of these guys into a power forward? We can turn you into a power forward. So let's go ahead and do that. Because this is Center City. Yes, you're now a power forward. Alright. So now let's go sign a power forward. Let's go ahead and find an aff affordable power forward that matches our system. Would be you. But Rashid Ryan is the best player available. Let's bring him on for two years. Let's see if he signs. He signs, and that's it. We're good. Player progression. Let's move on. Basically running back with the same team, but all of us getting better. You fails me. You fails me. I don't know if you feel me, bro. I really don't. I'm really not sure. <laughs> All-Star City, you already know I'm going to take the... I told you I was going to take the last year to Brooklyn. Brooklyn. So we going to Brooklyn. Yeah. Brooklyn. I said we going to Brooklyn. They said Washington, D.C. No, sir. Brooklyn. Even though none of us are going to make it because we're too old. <laughs> He's still gonna take it to Brooklyn. 2K hoops on the training camp. Hurry up, hurry up. We're gonna take my guy to athleticism, so make sure my guy still got it. Even though he's old now. <laughs> and we're defense. Rasheed Ryan. Alright, let's get it, bro. Advance to the next season. We got 12 players, and we can only take two of them. To the, to the training camp. What kind of foolishness is that? <laughs> Alright, this is starting five. She will. I, oh my goodness. He's a starting power forward. <laughs> can you, can Brian Higgins play power forward? Because if Brian Higgins can play power forward, we can turn Brian Higgins into a power forward, if you feel me. That's for sure. You know, during the regular season, we can run that. We can run that 10 man rotation. But, uh,. Let's see if Mr. Higgins can play power. Oh, he can play power forward. But will he get better or worse? Oh, he gets a lot worse. <laughs> Never mind. You'll be our small forward. All right, let's simulate. Let's simulate year 20. Take it straight to the All-Star game. I'll see you there. No matter what happens, I'll see you at the All-Star break. I'm skipping all of this. No! Not Luca. I broke my hand, yo. Luca's back. Finally. Oh no. Bro, this is the longest simulation ever. I've been here for like 20 minutes waiting for this to go to All Star break. <laughs> Let's get ahead and re sign Luca for the big money. Let's get inside myself for the big money. 
Two months of a two year deal in this case. Get his son Dennis. Bring him back on, even though he don't play. Glenn Sutton. Now we ain't got to sign Glenn Sutton on back. This dude stay hurt. All right, it's All Star Weekend. You know what time it is. Look at the, look at the team that doesn't have any of us in it <laughs> anymore. So it's Team Byron again. Malik, Adrian, Roman, Mara. Oh my boy, it's tomorrow. Beta again. Gabe Hood, Ethan Hicks, Perry Foster, Luigi, Dennis Braun, Dimitri. Samuel Jr. Russell Quinn Kane. We're all too old. Team Jamie, Jamie Marshall, Leo Winston, Malcolm Gray, Jackie Grid Gridbard, Quincy Ford, Jalen Anthony, Alfonso Barrera, Perry Breyer, John Peterson, Glenn Marks, and my boy Clayton Hill. We are consistently having two all star all stars make the uh make the all star game and I love it. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. Do we have anybody make this? The little dude. Did the little dude make it this? <laughs> yes, he did. Little dude made it. Oh, he's a big dude. Oof. Okay. Oh, that's not my oof. That's a different oof. <laughs> that was the oof for my team. How you got two guys named oof? Oh, he did make it though. He's right here. Oof. Oof. Oakland made it. All right. I was like, that's it. That just said powerful. How's he doing? What's his numbers looking like? Five points per game. <laughs> He probably made it just because he's international. <laughs> he said he feel great about the way he's been playing lately, though. So that's cool. And these are the All-Stars. Whatever. The future of the league. Whatever. I guess the league has passed us old guys 20 years later. Some late through date. I don't even care no more. Let's go all the way to the 20... To the 28. Oh, I'm back. Yay, yay. <laughs> and we lose. <laughs> and we win. All right, so... Team World Beat Team USA dunk contest with Jay Anderson. Three point contest was E Hicks. And Team Byron beat Team Jamie. Who is this Byron guy? And X Hicks had himself a good All Star weekend. It looked like. Let's simulate to the end of the year. And I take this journey on this super long way again. MVP goes to Malik Adrian, who had himself a uh, a year. Okay. Sasha Pavic on rookie of the year. Leonardo Rodriguez, six man of the year. Roman Markinoff, defense player of the year. Most improved goes to Leonardo Rodriguez, who had himself a year. Coach of the year goes to John Wall, who went 63 and 11, 19, sorry, with the Atlanta Hawks. Look at John Wall winning coach of the year. All right. And now let's look at these all NBA first team. I don't see my. I see Dennis Brown. Oh, that's Brown. <laughs> I don't see it's Amara here or Clayton. That's trash on this game's part. Ray Ray continues to make all NBA defensive teams. It don't make no sense. It really don't. Anywho, did we make the playoffs? Yes, we did. We are a solid fifth seed. So let's go ahead and simulate the first round. This dude stay hurt. <laughs> let's see what we can do with it. Oh, come on, honey. They just hurt my players, bro. They just hurt my players. They ain't trying to see me win, though. We all know that. They gonna, they took out Brian Huggins, and we gonna lose this series. Watch. Okay, game seven. Uh-huh, told you. Took out Brian Higgins and went ahead and got themselves the series. Whatever, bro. Simulate the whole playoffs. I'm upset. <laughs> First round exit. That's how, we, that's how they take us out. First round exit in our last year. Wow. Whatever. Sorry, Rob, you did not get a ring. Sorry, Dennis, you did not get a ring. It looks like Nebo's not getting a ring either because Nebo's actually on the Sacramento Kings. Oh, oh, well, nope. Gotta stop it there. Sixers and the Pelicans are in the finals. Let's look at our. Let's look at our. Oh, my goodness. Let's look at our. Let's look at our. Um. Our stats for the season. League leaders. No. Player stats. Yeah, why am I doing it this way? Bam. Alright. Let's see how my boy it's a bit. He's 29 now, bro. You gotta start winning championships. He tried his best in the playoffs though. We gotta build around you better though, right? I guess. <laughs> Anywho, let's look at Rob's number. He's 40 now. He averaged five points in the regular season and five points in the playoffs. Rob doing Rob. Rob's still out here playing and he 40, bro. Rob's out here playing and he 
40, bro. Okay. I see you, Rob. I see you, Mr. Kim. And you're gonna retire. This is your final season. So, you went out like a G. Let's look at my numbers. Only averaged 8 points this season, bro. I'm playing like trash, bro. 7 points in the playoffs. Ugh. Ugh, why are they making me go out like this? Why are they making me go out like this? And Dennis, he averaged no points in play. He has seven points in the regular. He hasn't played in years, bro. He's literally just on the bench. <laughs> He's ready to retire. Am I ready to retire? I am not ready to retire, so there's that. <laughs> so let's look at who else we can find. <laughs> so like I said, Nemo Bobby is on the Kings and I was like I'm not gonna trade for him because he was on the he was on a team the second seed but then it didn't work out so he's not a Phoenix Suns lifer because he went to the Kings where he averaged nine points in his first season there and only five assists was he starting he game play game started no he was not really starting wow wow Ray Ray on the Lakers Ray Ray ready to retire too. He only averaged four points in the playoffs. Well, five. I mean, five in the regular season. Six rebounds and, and uh, assists. I see you, Ray Ray. I see you, Ray Ray. I don't know how you're still making all NBA second teams, but you are. Yeah, I remember that boy, Freddie Cage. Traded him for me. But uh, Joey Gubbins is now on the Chicago Bulls where he got traded. I mean, sorry, to the Atlanta Magics where he got traded from Chicago. Well, he averaged 12 points this season. That's the lowest he's ever probably scored in his career. And, uh, we'll see what's good with Joey. 12 points, one rebound, two assists. Joey's still kicking in this league. And so is Kevin Knox. <laughs> and so is Tyler. Let's, see, let's, let's look at Tyler's numbers. Tyler's averaging seven points in Brooklyn, six rebounds. Doing his Tyler things. <laughs> Kwame is still here too. I think. Remember, Kwame got his two rings. He over there in Denver, averaging ten points, two rebounds, and assists. Okay, okay. Silently had a, silently had a productive season. It's wild how many of us actually did twenty years. Twenty year bid. Devontae is still on the Toronto Raptors. Where he averaged nine points, two rebounds, two assists. And yeah, he kind of wasted his career in Toronto because he didn't get much help over there. And didn't see much playoff success. Phoenix still got Devin Booker. Puneet's still in the league. And he is now a Golden State Warriors where he averaged 5 points for them. Still got 6 rebounds for them. So he wasn't doing too bad. Shot almost 50% from the field. Jay Ferg still in the league. He about to retire also. <laughs> and that's it, bro. That's it. Let's get this over with. As this is year 10. Who will be our final champions? I said year 10. This is year 20. And the Pelicans will round out this thing. This thing has champions. Sasha Pavic has MVP. Anybody got a championship? I believe not. Nope, not from our squads. But yeah, that's year 20, bro. I hope you enjoyed this 20 year grind. I'm gonna do a bonus video for where we all retire. So yo, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm out one.